Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Guys, this is the last pour of the night. So this is like my one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three. Fourth pour of the night. Told you I was in a painting mood. It's a rainy night in Georgia. And so with that said, um, I've already went ahead because I got a call and I had to answer it. And um, I did coat my canvas with some white paint. Keep in mind that all paints used with the exception of the white paint. The white paint is the PPG paint that I purchased. It's a color sample paint from Home Depot. I think it was like 7.75 ounces of semi-gloss pure white. And all I did with that paint was I added two parts flow draw, one part water. Well, more than one part until I got it to the consistency that I wanted it. Okay. So what happened on the previous painting job was that I mixed up some of that white paint along with my true red paint and my bright red paint. And I made my own pink. And I coated the canvas with the pink and I did the pink and the bronze uh, or the copper rather and some black and a little white. Well, I Started out as an experiment, really didn't have an idea. Now that I've done that on a small canvas, I want to do it on a larger canvas. So I've seen these, um, I guess you would call them swipes, okay? Um, I've seen them done. And since it worked okay on the smaller one, I'm going to now try that on a larger canvas. I do want to use the same colors that I used in the um, pink base paint that I used. However, this time I'm using a white base. Same colors, white base. Let me add a little gold on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some white. And this time I'm going down the middle. Down the middle, squiggly, 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 right? And guys, this red right here is just a bomb biggity red. It is the true red. No, I take that back. Yes, it's true red. Okay. Got this at Hobby Lobby. And it is by Anita's True Red. This is a beautiful red. Now, my thing is that I do, um, I have done pictures with the red and the black and the white. Okay. But what happens is when it dries, it dulls out. If there's any white, it just sort of, sort of like fades into it. And so pretty much I want to see how this is going to do. Okay. This is a swipe, guys. And so I'm just going to run this down. Okay. Then I'm going to run me some red. This some I, my favorite one of my favorite colors is red. By the way, I'm gonna run this red down here, okay? And I'm gonna come back with me some white. I'm not gonna because white will take over your paint painting. Um, this white paint has magic to it. I don't exactly know why it does what it does and I'm thinking maybe go ahead and use a little bit of copper I did use that in the last one I'm just gonna run that beam down through there and guys I've been saving this for I don't know what this is some gold that I made up okay comes in these little trusty I, well, I put it in here, okay? 
you know, leftover, leftover, right? And um, I'm gonna run some of this zigzag through here. And I love gold, and I, it, I love gold uh, jewelry, actually. Okay. And I'm gonna wipe that off so that I can get the top off next time because there's some left. So these little containers hold quite a bit of paint. And I really am thinking about running some more. I guess that that paint, look at that. Okay. That's from the flicks of the gold when I pull that top off. Guys, if you don't want anything to happen to your canvas, don't open anything. Don't clean your hands over your canvas. Because if it could drip, it's going to drip onto your canvas. I want to do some more red. One of my craft sticks here. Get all of this red out. I almost poured more in here. So I'm really glad that I didn't. Really glad that I didn't. Because this red was really vibrant. It was really vibrant. Now, I was experimenting because... I've watched so many YouTube guys of this painting. I can get it on my television, you know, and I'll just watch YouTube video after YouTube video. There are some truly awesome ladies out there that do these paintings. I love them all, and I will watch them all, all night. All night, I will watch these ladies. <laughs> It's just amazing at what they do um, in the results. In, in, in the swiping, if they don't like it, they're going to swipe it. Just let me tell you, they're going to swipe it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, as in swipe it off and redo it. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You say, no, 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 don't do it. But, you know, it's not what they envision. And so I understand that. I totally understand that. And so now that I have the white, the black, the bronze, the gold, and the true red, okay? All mixed with one part paint, two part Floetrol water. I did in uh, the black, I made up my own medium with water and my famous glue wall, Elmer's glue wall, right? And so I was saying in my previous videos about how, oh, I've always wanted to get sales and this has never, ever, ever happened. Well, it happened once before, but I was amazed when I did the last swipe, how many sales I had. I'm also amazed at the runoff here. It's beautiful. Um, this over here is okay, but this right here is beautiful. It's got the zigzag. Okay, so in this bottle, let me put my paints up. In this bottle is just water. H2O, guys. So I'm clearing the way here of all my little trusty gadgets because when I swipe this way, I need the room. Thank goodness for an extra table. Yay, me. Okay. For some reason, I want to, before I put this white away, I just want to put a little more down there. And I think that's it. Now I need to torch it.
to burst any bubbles because I do tend to shake my bottles. Love those bottles. Some of them I got from the Dollar Tree, two for a dollar. And some I got from Wally World, which is Walmart. To me, that's Walmart, Wally World. And um, the last haul I got from Walmart was, the last one I got from Walmart, I bought, I think it was eight of these. They were a dollar piece for two. That is unheard of at Walmart because these are really made for food. Uh, not food, but for like your ketchup and your mustard and your barbecue sauces. That's what that's for. But I use it for water and I use it for my paint. So right now, I have my little trusty paper towel. And I pre-measured. Let's take one of these sheets and one half. Okay? Of course, we do know. that I need a trash cup. And here we go for the trash cup. Okay, when I'm done with the paper towel, I will put it here because it's going to drip, guys. And I do see sometimes where, um, when I watch the YouTubes, I do see where people are letting it drip. But you know, if it's not dripping more than, if it drips more than once, then I'm not happy. So, I don't have my spritz bottle ready. All right. So I put the water here at the bottom. Same thing for the half sheet. Just going to make sure the bottom of this is wet. Okay. And so I'm going to use the big one first, the larger one first, okay? And my paper is curled in this way, so I'm going to start out this way, okay? Starting out this way. And I'm going to begin right in the middle, right in the middle of the painting. And I'm going to let that kind of soak there. And I'm just going to drag, 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 slowly, 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 slowly pull the paint, slowly, slowly. And I am at the end. Okay. I'm going to come back on the other side. Now, right smack dab in the middle. Lay it down and I am going to drag slowly. Trying to keep it straight. Dragging, 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 dragging. All right. Well, I could probably use this. Let's see. I'm gonna kind of bring it over. Kind of bring it on over. And now I'm going to drag again. Okay. Now I'm going to start here. I'm going to overlap it just a tad bit. Make sure it's in there real good. And now I'm going to drag this way. And I'm doing it slowly because sometimes you have, there we go. Sometimes you have little, little mishaps like this one. So I'm going to come back here.
couple of hours while well, I have been painting all evening but when the paint sets it tends to get a little thick okay All right, now I do want some more of that red. So, just thinking, should I put that bright red? I know how that bright red works. So, let me just borrow this craft stick right here that I have the red in. And let's just go right on down here, right on down here. Now, okay. It sounds like a drum. Boom, 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 boom. And if you ask me why am I standing here looking, because I know there is absolutely something else I should be doing. I can now see the gold here. And I think that a small, tiny bead should go of white. Maybe a drop here and there. There we go. All right, it's paper towel time. Of course, I need a torch. Mind you, we have cells and I haven't torched the canvas yet, I don't think. All right. Use my trusty straw.
Alrighty then. Okay. So instead of there being blobs there, I didn't want the blobs. Did not want the blobs. Oh geez, it's so hard to pick these up with the gloves on. So once again, the, the paper towel is curved in. I need to move the red paint out of the way so that I can pull the sheet down. I'm just dampening the end of the paper towel. Okay. So this time I'm gonna start on this side. And I want to get directly in the middle and I want to come down. Down, 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 down. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Directly in the middle. Lay it down and pull down. Okay. Now, I'm going to come here in the middle again and I can see what I need to do. This side needs more of this just a tad bit. Okay. Well, drip, didn't I tell you? Drip. Turn the paper over. Down, 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 down. And for some reason, it could be this cup of paint and this bottle of water. All right, now we're going to put this into the cup so I don't make a big mess. And let's see what we get here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Torch to get rid of the air bubbles. You guys already know, I don't like the small canvases, but when you work these big ones, you really need to have a plan or a vision of what you are really wanting and really wanting to see. And you kind of got to know a little bit about the paints. White, when you're using white, white is, is a paint that it sinks to the bottom. Um, and I'm finding that in some cases the black will too, right? And so it'll sink to the bottom. And if you, by some chance, depending on what layer you put, uh, put it over the top of your paint, it, uh, the other paint kind of has to fight to come to the surface. 
there is no silicone in here and so it's just kind of stuck like chalk right <laughs> so you just have to let it do what it do and you see that still here so it's this much of the canvas this much of the canvas right has a lot of paint but down here it's not as much as here so I'm dragging it from here to here maybe if I would have put more paint and not been afraid to put too much paint on the canvas I ever want to come back with the white okay uh, the white was the last thing it's beautiful don't get me wrong but it's just overpowering right here I am not going to scrape this, right? Um, this was an experiment, and so I'm going to leave it as is. Um, beautiful experiment. Beautiful experiment, actually, you know? Um, I did see the other day a lady was saying, Hey, when you are doing uh, this, you need to come in at it like that. And just punch it. Punch it if you want to force the cells to do that and I kind of do because it's not the cells are not coming up like they did in the first one it really enthused me so but all in all what I may do is put some more of the real red down here very lightly go over in spaces right because I do like the way the shading here is and so you just have to torch and look and torch and look. I don't really want to move it because I don't want to cause the lines to be wavy or any wavier than what they were or are from the paper towel. But I do like it. And yes, I could. I could come back with the red. Could come back with the red yep because I could truly see there's not much paint here so with that said this is an experiment okay um, I might just do that Hey, we already know. I said I wasn't going to scrape it, right? Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when you're looking for a certain look, it's like finding that perfect outfit. You see it in your mind. You know what you want. It's like seeing that perfect bedroom suit. You see it in your mind. You know what you want. And this is the paper towel that I wet previously uh, and did not use. Um, so let me just go forth and do good. Here we go. Awesome sauce. Don't think that I've seen anyone do this. So don't quote me on saying the ladies that I saw do this. I have not. Hmm. And if I'm going to do that on this side, I need to put the paint down. Okay. We're going to rock it out.
think this is called a ghost pour. Well, I got the ghost of the ghost pour because I poured it a couple of times. Okay, I did it a couple of times. Yes, I did. It's not anything I've seen anybody do, so I pray it may have jacked it up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth out those lines and I'm going to be done. Okay, so just gently blowing where the um, paper towel started so it's not so sharp there. It makes it look like this here because there's tons of paint there. Why they call this a ghost pour? Okay. Thank goodness for the little trusty straw. Some people have airbrushes, I have trusty straw. I'm going to torch it and see what we get. By this being number four, and tomorrow is a church day, I got to get my beauty rest, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I got to get the beauty rest, honey. You get a certain age, you, you don't let your sleep miss you, and you don't miss your sleep. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> miss sleep cause bags and wrinkles, honey. Just as much as worries. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We don't want the bags, and we don't want the wrinkles. Seems like I may need to do a straw on that. That is very nice. Okay, so this side is very nice. I wish I could have just kept the one, but of course, you know, the paint is only showing here and I can see canvas here. So I did that, all right. Um, so I'm going to turn it around Turn it around. And I'm going to blow the other side of it so that it mimics this side. Now, after you keep putting paint and paint and paint and paint, some of your cells dissipate. 
they go away. Boom, gone. Bye bye. Well, this sure beats drawing trees, guys, or painting trees. All right. Now I'm going to turn this around. I'm also going to kind of tilt it so you can see there go my coffee cup come on come on there's my other one come on all right let's see if you could take a look at that but my hand is in the way take a look and i am going to turn it around oh well, that's not going to work nisi 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 catch it catch it catch it Catch it, girl. Catch it, girl. There we go. All right. And I have on gloves, guys, but I'm going to tell you something. I do not like it when that paint hits the gloves even. It's cold. And I hope I didn't mess up the beautiful. I didn't. Okay. Fusty straw. Y'all like my overalls, y'all. Y'all know beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. Let me tell you. Beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. I posted a picture that uh, I mixed the paint. I believe the paint was too thin or it was too old. Not certain which one. And so it was black and white and it came out gray and black. Well, it had tons of sales, but it looked like maybe a, a deserted planet. And I was going to do a do-over, but, you know, my little mind said, hey, you know, beauty is an eye of a beholder. It may not look good to you, but somebody else may like it. And so I posted it online. And I said, do-over or keep. And I promise you, 15 people said keep, and one person says, no, that's a do-over because it looks old. Well, that was the reason why. I decided to post it because it does look old and it's kind of creepy. It is kind of creepy.